These next few problems that we're gonna look at are gonna show us how we could use the pH of a substance to determine the Ka value for an acid. And we can also use it to determine how much of the acid is dissociating versus how much is staying as a molecule. So I wanna make this distinction very clear because there's a very common mistake that students do when they're first learning about how to do pH problems. So this problem is having us uh, look at a chemical lactic acid. Lactic acid is not part of our strong acid list, right? Um, but let's say we had 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid. Because hydrochloric acid is on our strong acid list, Hydrochloric acid 100% dissociates into hydrogen ions and chloride ions. So what that means is if you have 0.1 moles of hydrochloric acid for every one mole of hydrochloric acid, you would get one mole of H plus and therefore the molarity of the H plus matches the molarity of the acid. This is not the case for 0.1 molar lactic acid. Lactic acid is not on our strong acid list, so it does not 100% dissociate into H plus and C3H5O3 minus. This does not happen. This is not true because it's not on our strong acid list. So we cannot just say, oh, because it's 0.1 uh, moles of HC5O3. We cannot just say for every one mole of lactic acid that you have one mole of H plus because it does not dissociate 100%. So the molarity of the H plus here is not 0.1. So we're gonna learn today, how do we figure that out? Okay, so let's see, how do we figure this guy out? What we're gonna do is use our pH to figure out our H plus ion concentration. With this guy, if we know the pH is 2.43, remember the P in pH stands for power. So that means that our H plus's power, our H plus's concentration is one times 10 to the negative 2.43. The problem is, is that's a weird number. We don't usually have decimals as in our exponents. So we would throw that in our calculator and get a pH, or excuse me, an H plus concentration of 0 0.0037 molar. Notice how it's not 0 0.1 molar like we just discussed. So what I'm gonna do is use an ice table to help me figure out the Ka value. So I'm gonna take my lactic acid and I'm going to put lactic acid in water. And my lactic acid is going to, it's an acid, right? So it's gonna be a proton donor. So it's gonna donate the H to my water molecule. And when it does that, it's gonna leave the lactate ion behind and we'll get our H3O plus as well. When we fill out our ice table, our initial concentration of my lactic acid is 0.1 molar. Water doesn't have a molarity, and you can always assume that you don't have any products in the beginning unless you're told otherwise. The pH told me what the hydrogen ion concentration was at equilibrium. 
that 0 0.0037 is my equilibrium concentration of my H3O+. Hydronium ions are really just hydrated hydrogen ions. So my hydrogen ion concentration is 0 0.0037 molar. And since it started at zero and ended at 0 0.0037, that must mean my change is a positive 0 0.0037 because my lactate ion is on the same side and in a one-to-one -one ratio with my hydronium ion, they also experience a 0 0.0037 change. My lactic acid is gonna come down by 0 0.0037 because it's reacting in a one-to-one -one ratio and so this guy's equilibrium concentration is going to be 0 0.0963. Now that I have my equilibrium concentrations, I can write an equilibrium expression. I'm going to do products over reactants. And I'm going to start subbing in all the numbers that I know. My lactate ion is 0 0.0037. So is my hydronium ion. And my lactic acid at equilibrium is 0 0.0963. If I were to plug that in to my calculator and solve, I would get an answer of 1.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. Equilibrium constants do not have units, they are just numbers. The Ka value is kind of small. If it's kind of small, that means that we don't have very many ions, and we can see that because if it was a strong acid, then it would have lots of ions. But lactic acid is not on our strong acid list, hence a small Ka value. For part B, where it asks, what's the percent dissociation of lactic acid? It wants to know what percentage of the lactic acid broke up into acetate and hydronium ions. So the way we're going to figure that out for part B, we're going to take the part that turned into hydronium ions at equilibrium and divide it by the original concentration of my acid to say out of my original 0.1 molar lactic acid, how much of it turned into hydronium ions? 0 0.0037 molar did. And then we would multiply that by 100 to turn it into a percentage. So only 3.7% of lactic acid molecules are dissociating and turning into ions. The other 96.3% are staying together as a lactic acid molecule.